I know this video is gonna be controversial, but somebody needs to tell you the truth. Don't dislike this video until the end and watch it uh, until the end and watch the difference between AutoCAD and Revit. But before that, uh, let me ask you a question. You are going to carve a kitchen with saw or knife. Uh, which one is much easier? Yeah, uh, you can carve a kitchen with saw, but it is much harder and it's, it's inappropriate to do that. And we are going to answer this question with this method and with this example. First of all, let's talk about the terminology of uh, these softwares. For example, in the CAD, on the CAD side, this is the general tool that you will use in different areas and different industries. For example, we're using, we use CAD for all kinds of industry, in IAC industry, in engineering industry, even in some art uh, majors and those kind of things. So that's the part of the terminology for CAD. And uh, as I said, it's a general file and you don't need to, you don't have to uh, expect some really smart words. For example, you have some dumb lines in AutoCAD and these are just lines and you don't have any information in them. But in other hand, when we will talk about BIM, we will understand the difference between them. And the other part of the CAD file and the uh, other part of the CAD terminology is that you need to work with different files. For example, if you have architectural files, you have one file, architectural file, and then you have a structural file, you will have a map file, and, and also you will have some schedules in Excel, in some other softwares, you have some documentation in Word, and integrating them is a little bit hard, and in, uh, especially in big projects, it will be a big problem, and it will slow your project. We talked about the terminology aspects of CAD, but now let's talk about Revit. Revit is an IAC purpose software, so it is especially, and it is made for IAC industry, architecture, engineering, and construction industry. And by the way, this is, means that you can work much easier with it for your construction project. And also it is according to BIM, so you are working in a single source of information and can work seamlessly with your friends and with your colleagues in a model and in a single source of information. Now let's talk about the model relation. For example, in Revit, all of the things are related together. For example, in this plan, when I delete this wall, uh, when I delete this door in here, you can see the reflection in other views. So all of them are in, in this door is one element in all of the views and they are related together. And this will uh, prevent from any human error. But for example, in AutoCAD, you don't have any relation. For example, we have this plan and it's just, it's just a dummy line. When you delete it, it doesn't happen and it doesn't have any effect in other views like uh, elevations in a section because it's just a line and it's not an element. And this is the relation between things in AutoCAD that will uh, cause some uh, human error in your process. Now let's talk about the modeling differences between AutoCAD and Revit. We have to say in Revit, we have uh, some additional things uh, other than geometry. For example, our model is data-rich model. For example, we have WAV with all of its information in it and you have a data-rich model. And also the tools that you have in Revit, it's not really general tools like box and something like that because you can, uh, straight, you can create walls, floors, roofs, stairs, and ramps, uh, really straightforward, and this is not that complicated. And also other than that, you can have some additional aspects of your building, building analysis in Revit. You can implement 4D and 5D in Beam uh, software. For example, you can bring your uh, Revit files into Navisworks and you can implement 4D, which is a model in plus of time. And also you can implement 5D in Revit and other additional softwares. You can estimate your uh, budget and you can estimate the uh, material takeoffs and other things in related to that. But on the other hand, uh, on the CAD side, we don't have any rigid rule like Revit. For example, you can do whatever you want. For example, you can move this wall to here, but your elevation won't change. 
So that's kind of a, a freedom that you can look for and your freedom is much higher in comparison with Revit. But it has some cons with it. For example, when you change your plan in your new design, you have to do it in all of your elevations and all of your plans. So it will not be a flexible software when you have lots of changes. Now it's time to talk about the learning curve. We, we need to say that both of them uh, need time and practice to learn, but we can say in Revit, you have much uh, better user interface because uh, they are grouped in a appropriate way. And also by just reading the comments, you can uh, know the uh, philosophy behind them. You can know a lot of things about them. For example, it's just a wall, it's a door, window, and they are really self uh, descriptive and you can understand most of it by just looking at it and you have some great view management too but we need to say for autocad it is a little bit hard to grasp at first time because the ui is not the best ui you can get the, uh, the my favorite uh, feature of autocad in comparison with revit for the ui is the dark theme but other than that it's not a great ui it's not bad UI, but it's not great. And you, you, we don't have a great uh, grouping in tools and the tools are not that self-descriptive as uh, Revit uh, tools. The next aspect that we want to talk about is the cost. We need to know which are, which is the cost of each of them. For example, you can say, and it is a fact that Revit is a little bit expensive. It is about 2,700 dollars but for the cat you're going to pay 1900 dollars for a year but i think with the features that you get in revit for your oic project i think it's worth it and also you need to know that for each of them you can have a 30-day trial and you can use it for 30 days for free to decide which software you are going to buy now it's time that all of you are waiting for and we need to answer this question what now what we need to learn uh, first of all if you're not a oic person and if you and if you are working in another in other industries you need to go with other softwares and you need to leave revit because it's not suitable for you but if you're in the oic industry we have two different parts uh, my suggestion that i will uh, i know i will get some lots of hate in comments if you are a IC uh, person, it is better to learn the introduction and the basics of CAD. It will take you one or two days to learn the uh, basics of CAD, but you don't need to learn the advanced parts. And after that, uh, you can go on and start learning Revit in your area. And if you want to know how to learn Revit, watch the other video that I will explain how to learn Revit quickly and easily. I will put the link in the description and also you can watch it in here.